Okay, well, obviously I'm very pleased that this bill has finally passed the Lords unamended. It's a very simple bill. It asks for an independent cost-benefit analysis of our EU membership. And that's purely the economic costs. It doesn't require us uh, to look into the huge constitutional costs, the costs to our democracy and the rest of it. And, and we start off with some very simple figures which are given to us by the government itself. Um, and those are that we are sending £10.3 billion in net cash every year to Brussels. We have that from the Office of National Statistics. And um, £10.3 billion um, in, 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 in net cash every year comes to £28 million every day. Uh, and that is also quite a lot of money for us ordinary people to absorb. What that comes to is 940 nurses every day of the year uh, at a salary of 30,000 a year, or policemen or soldiers or anyone else you want to take. Um, then, and that figure of 10.3 billion net cash has to be set against the 6.2 billion pounds, which represents the cuts, the so-called cuts, um, in last year, the same year. Uh, and then we borrowed another 12 billion to, um, to bail out the euro. All those figures are completely uncontestable. You then enter the difficult area of how much does the over-regulation which costs, that comes from Brussels, how much does that stifle the economy and how much does that cost us? And again, we're indebted to the Treasury and indeed the European Commission um, for a figure of about 6% of GDP, which takes us to around £1,400 per person in the United Kingdom per annum. So these are the sort of obvious figures on the down side of the slate. Um, what have we got on the plus side? Well, this should be for the Eurocrats and the government and the Eurofiles generally uh, to produce. They, they say to us all the time, this is completely unnecessary, it'll be a waste of money because the advantages of our European membership are so obvious and overwhelming that um, it'll be a, be a waste of time. Um, bear in mind that um, the report on climate change um, only cost uh, 1.2 million pounds. Uh, that surely is a more complicated subject uh, than what we're looking at here. So the bill is now on its way to the Commons. I hope it will get a second reading there. I hope if it is squashed in the Commons, uh, that will make news, uh, because it really is about time. We had uh, an objective uh, judgment on how much the, the, uh, the tentacles of the corrupt octopus in Brussels are really costing us as a nation.